Hello, I am going to set up this uh, quadcopter, uh, which is actually rated as a 14 plus and it's for kids. And this is the E90, uh, E99 uh, quadcopter. Let's see what the features this has actually. Mm. Model is E90, E99. Um, this quadcopter is rated as uh, zero level that means in the uav class level zero means that it's for the kids toy uh, drones uh, those supposed to be speed around four to five meter per second and it shouldn't go beyond the line of sight that means it should be around uh, 50 meters distance and actually most important thing is the weight is less than 250 so because of that you don't want to register this in the Canada or whatever this uh, country based on the regulations this is most of the, uh, most of the time can be used anywhere in the world out of the box without registering and this has a camera uh, actually uh, SD lens um, Okay, let's go inside and see. Actually, this is open by my friends. Let's see. How's this? Okay. Okay, nothing else. Okay, this is the remote controller. Okay, this needs to be normally turned on automatically. Uh, Okay, this is the cock doctor. Well, probably that's how they sit. Okay, first thing is when you open, you probably cannot be open like this if you do, if you open this one first. So what you have to do is just open this one, just go slowly like this. Just go first and this. Most important thing in the quad copper type drones, the front is this side and the camera is the one you have facing to the front and this side is the back eh? uh, yeah this goes and let's see what's there what's other things there mm. Mm. Oh, this is the battery mm. okay let's go oh this can be uh, charged by micro usb see uh, it can be charged connecting to your computer or whatever if you are get, taking this from the vehicle then you can connect this into the vehicle and charge for using the micro usb okay. let's open this um, okay these are the Popular guards, we have four popular guards, uh, we have four extra populars, most probably when we are playing, it's gonna damage, so we need extra populars, that's why it's sent with four extra populars, and this is the micro USB charger, it's goes, where is it, oh here you go, it goes to here, and connect somewhere and charge it. And this should be charged <coughs> and screwdriver for most probably to use here. Now let's see. Okay, it's simple as this. Let's place it here. Uh, connect here. Okay, okay now it's time to check the remote control. Hmm. Let's check what the features this has. Mm. Okay, this is the one, two, three. This is the button one, two, three. That seems to be like uh, speed controllers. And let's see, let's check in the manual what these symbols mean. Yes. Actually, if you look on here, it says speed controller. Uh, normally, those are the symbols. It normally comes with the drones. Uh, 
then there is different type uh, different speech switches this is speech switch one switch two and switch three that means this drone can be controlled in three different speeds this is a uh, round robin this operate in a round robin manner once you press one it goes to one speed level one then two three then fourth time once you press it goes to again back to the speed level one this is the this is called the uh, i think seems like this is the headless mode this button uh, that means uh, normally the uh, quadruplets operate normally within this uh, uh, level zero quadruplets operate normally with head forward but if you want to operate that in headless mode that means based on the way you take off the headless is determined by the quadcopter that is the headless mode when you once you play with this one you will under clearly understand how it works and uh, this is these are the, of course antennas uh, this is gyro those are the uh, gyro calibration button and this is the rotations uh, that's when so if you press this once the quadcopter start to rotate like this and okay let's go check what this is normally in the left hand sides it's a throttle control this is the throttle and this is the uh, one it's a direction control this is the one we, that's where right hand one normally comes with the direction control and left hand one is the throttle control that's the throttle level uh, if you move this one left this is quadcopter moving to this side if it is the front it's like this it's moving start to move in this way if move to this right hand side it start to move right and if you move forward it goes to forward direction if you move backward it start to move backward uh, let's go uh, one button by button uh, this is this button is called uh, left fine tune this is right fine tune this is uh, fi forward fine tune and this is uh, backward uh, fine tune that means once you let's assume there is a scenario that the quadcopter is hovering like this and you want to do some fine tuning you want to uh, get it move to a little bit here a little bit here if you're going to control it by using this this lever it's maybe it's not smooth it's maybe tricky uh, tricky to smooth to control so it's better to have a smooth control capability so that it's given this uh, button those are moves the squad copter moves smoothly on one direction with the one button press uh, this button if you look on this one the arrow with the uh, arrow head forward in ahead that means this one is the takeoff the arrow head forward in two two once you hold the uh, controller like this this is the landing button this is takeoff and this is landing buttons okay i think those are the features oh yeah one more thing here let's see what's this okay oh it seems like this is the phone holder you can keep the folder here the phone when you are weaving the uh, camera you can that means you can while you are keeping the remote control or hold, hold it, uh, you can place the camera here and view your uh, stream. Okay, let's see, but I don't think this is in a good stable condition. I don't think, since this is a cheap, we cannot expect more than this. So if you spend much more money for this one, this would be a very quality one, but since this is a toy level one, we cannot expect that much for good holder for this one and also you don't expect uh, high level performance something like uh, holding position those type of things so mission plans so those type of things never expect with this cheap uh, uh, drones this is toy drones for kids okay let's try to place the battery okay oops battery three double leaves Oh, 
So, before going to play aside and load it on the, anyway. Mm. Okay, that's good, not bad. See, this is not good. Okay, that's good. I need one more. Oops, yeah, that's good. Okay. It's time to face this one. Turn on this one, press this button, power on button, and keep holding. If you turn off, the same thing. Turn on. Okay. Okay, now I turn on the quadcopter or drone. Now it's time to turn on the remote controller. To handshake with this remote controller and the drone you have to press normally press up and keep one second one or two second then press down keep one or two second then it should be good to go hmm, no you see again Uh, okay, I figured out the issue. Actually, this uh, blinking means the quadcopter is not synced with the remote controller. To sync the quadcopter with the remote controller, you have to keep pressing this power switch for a few seconds. See, once it's synced with the remote controller, the quadcopter LED light blinking stop. That's me. That is now it's ready to take off or landing. If you want to just make sure whether it's working or not, just press the throttle lever up a little bit and it's, that's when it's ready. To stop, just make it push it back. If you want to take off, just press this button up. And if you want to land, just press this button. Let's take take off. I want it. Okay, so we press the button to land it. Okay, now it's working. Uh, now it's time to check how the camera is whether the camera is working or not. Okay, this is the manual for the camera setup. And let's see our next step is set up camera and see the video okay let's go to that okay let's go to install the rc fpv app, uh, app to the uh, mobile so that we can see the image uh, video coming from the quadcopter and first step is uh, check the rc fpv app in the app store Let's go. RC FPV. 
I need to go. Maybe. Let's see. I guess. Okay, five. This, this is the one. Okay, install. It will take a few seconds. Let's see. And let's, while it's installing, let's read what you have to do. Okay, then it's, next step is scan the QR code below to download and install. Okay, let's go mm -hmm. and connect the power supply of the mobile. And let's see. Okay, I press started. I think we have to sync this. Okay. Connection setting. Okay. First, I have to go to the connection. Once you connect the Wi Fi, uh, then it's again open the app, then you allow. Okay, so now I'm pointing to it to the mouse okay you can see right you can see his you can see mouse and i have pointed toward my monitor and my printer here you go you can see right this is me this is coming from here so it's working nice oh here you go okay that's all thank you for watching the video